Hello everybody out there, welcome back here with the future once again, and yes, it is time once again for my DVD and VHS collection update Halloween horror special, and as you see here, I have decorated the background with some cool Halloween inspired little knickknacks and whatnot, the Crypt Keeper right in the middle there, I've done showcase and reviews on a few things here, so go back in my um, videos and definitely check it out trying to set up the vibe here because every year well the last two years this will be the third year straight that i've done a halloween horror vhs and dvd collection special for halloween i want to say happy halloween to everybody out there hope everybody's halloween festivities are awesome this year and everybody has a great time trick-or-treating and whatnot but now i'm going to get into the horror halloween macabre um, even like aliens and stuff I like to get into on these videos and show off. I'm not going to go like real deep into what all these videos are going in a bunch of information on them. Just kind of like mention a few things about them and then move on, you know, on to why I picked them up and whatnot. If you've seen my past videos, you definitely will know it. I'll put my DVD, Blu-ray and VHS collection update zone up in the right. And you can go back to that playlist and check out all the Halloween Horror Special that I've done the last two years. I do have them labeled. This is the Halloween Horror Special 3.0. So I'm um, very happy to get into this. This may be a little long because I do have a ton of DVDs and VHS, as you can see here, to get through. So bear with me. Like I said, I'm trying not to spend too much time on any one certain video. But... Um, going to try to go through them rather quickly here so trying to get this in under like 30 minutes if i can but here we go um the first one is a few vhs that i picked up lately um here it is the it's the great pumpkin charlie brown 1966 classic um clamshell vhs i did not have i already had it's the great pumpkin charlie brown on dvd and what's cool is they both have the same fronts the only difference as it does have the little sticker here saying the bonus feature included, You're Not Elected Charlie Brown, but the same covers for each of them. This one was released in 1995, and it's a 1966 classic, man. It just aired um, a day or so ago um, on TV, on broadcast TV, so they still broadcast this every year around Halloween time, so very cool to add this VHS to my collection. And I do have the DVD as well, so that's cool, so set that to the side. The next one that I got in the VHS is, um, this one's more supernatural thriller, like not really horror, but it is um, the remake of the horror classic, you know, from back in the 30s, and it's The Mummy, um, the Brendan Fraser version. I did not have the VHS of this, and when I do my VHS collection room, which I want to do in the future, I definitely want to get the movies like this on VHS that everybody was going in and renting. Um, you'll just see whenever I make my uh, room that... I will utilize a lot of these, so that's why I'm getting some of these uh, not-so-great uh, movies. I did have the DVD of this, too. I did not pull it out, and of course I have the originals, but The Mummy, one of my favorites. And hey, speaking of Mummy, I have my little old-school McDonald's Mummy Pell there, so you can't, uh, can't beat that. Uh, not the greatest movie, but it is horror-inspired, so anything horror-related or Halloween-related. Here is I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. I remember originally going to the theater and seeing the first one, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. So this is cool. If you were hooked by the original, you'll die for this one. <laughs> How appropriate for the Halloween horror special here. And like I said, I'm not going to go too deep onto what happens in any of these movies or not. Um, if I say it's really good, definitely check it out, though. Um, I'm not going to say this is any kind of classic. I do want to get the others on VHS though. Um, also here, I already had, um, as you can see here on DVD, I have uh, the original Scream, rest in peace to Wes Craven by the way, who passed away not too long back, uh, along with George A. Romero, two big icons in the horror world of cinema that passed away, so rest in peace to both of them. But this one was, you know, David Arquette, Neve, Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, um, and others here in the original Scream. And then I also had um, Scream 2, this Dimension, uh, Dimension Collector series here. Twice as hip, scary and entertaining. <laughs> They're kind of like horror comedy. Nobody knows about Scream by now. And then I had Scream 3, the ultimate Scream. And there is a Scream 4. And I do not have all the Screams there, but I do have those three on DVD. But I picked up this VHS, is why I brought those out. And it's nothing but the audio commentary by director Wes Craven. And what's cool about this, and writer Kevin Williamson. But what's cool about this is this is back whenever they didn't do commentary tracks. Obviously on VHS, you couldn't put um, special features unless you had them at the end of the film or something. So this must have came, you know, 
It was at Hot Topics for six bucks back then, you can see. But this must have been sold separately, you know, and it has five-day rental there, too. So I don't know if this came with the original Scream or was sold separately, but it's the exact same audio commentary that they have um, featured on the original Scream one that I have here. As you can see, director Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson. So they have the um, DVD has the audio commentary from this VHS. And this VHS was released. So let me see if I can find a date released on this one here. I don't see it right off the top of my head. Um, but I would guess, since it is a rental, that it was released the year that this was released. Um, it was like 99 or 98. I can't remember the actual release date for uh, Scream. But sometime then. Um, but there you have those. And um, next, um, this was a uh, Thrills and Chills pack that I already had. And it has, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, Halloween 2... And the original Underworld there. And the reason I'm showing that off is because I picked up this Underworld Rise of the Lycans. And obviously a lichen is a werewolf. And you can see them down there. A bunch of wolves. So um, I don't know how much this is related to horror. But, um, you know, they did put uh, the original Underworld on this horror-inspired DVD set here. So I had to add this, you know, into the... Uh, uh, Halloween Horror Special because I think this was one that I showed off in one of my past Halloween Horror Specials, this volume one here. Um, but yeah, Underworld Rise of the Lycans. Don't know if I'll ever even get around to watching that, but I do have it. Um, what's it say on there? The Birth of a Hero, The Rise of a Legend, The Beginning of a War. So it's not really horror, but it has to do with werewolves, so I'm going to put it in there. The next one I have, I already had, um, well just to show off, I kind of like showing like the ones that I already had. Um, I already had, you know, the original Evil Dead, uh, Evil Dead 2, and um, the Evil Dead remake. And I did a Evil Dead special, uh, DVD collection update special, which actually I'll put that up in the right. And uh, you can go back and check that out. Pretty cool. I gave you a little bit of info on the Evil Deads too. And I had um, the Army of Darkness, which was the third Evil Dead, which came before the remake in 2013. But the original Screwhead edition I had that I had picked up um, not too long ago. Um, but my friend had a bunch of DVDs that he was getting rid of, and this was in there, the widescreen older version of the DVD. Um, it doesn't have any kind of like better special features on it or anything. Sometimes these original ones will have special features that the later ones don't and vice versa. But uh, I still wanted to get it because, um, it was released earlier. This was the 98 release of, um, Army of Darkness. Um, and this one was released in, um, 2009. So I do like to get, you know, if I can get the, um, earlier releases of the DVD that I don't have, um, it's always cool because you never know. I'm thinking this one's probably out of print by now. The original release of it from the director of Darkman. And this one says from the director of Spider-Man and Dragon to Hell. So a lot of great Sam Raimi movies, um, there. So Evil Dead, one of my favorite film franchises. And horror, kind of horror comedy too. Um, and then I already had um, the original um, special edition extended director's cut of The Exorcist here that I got to like not too long ago. Um, Peter Blatty's, you know, classic, scariest film of all time. It may be, it still creeps me out to this day to watch this one to tell you the truth. Um, commentary by director William Friedkin there. Um, but yeah, I already had that one, but. Um, in that tote that I was messing around in, um, checking for DVDs that he gave me. Picked them up real cheap. And this is the version you've never seen. This is the original um, snapback case of Peter Blatty's The Exorcist, um, directed by William Friedkin. Um, and these snapback cases are pretty much, you know, gone by the wayside. I don't see many that are made like this anymore, if there are any at all. Um, but this had feature commentary as well. Um, has pretty much the same special features that it does in this one. Um, but this one is an actual um, classic if nobody's ever saw it. One of my, uh, like I said, it's one of the scariest movies of all time. And I have to put it up there. And uh, one of my favorites, too. And the snapback case here, trying to see. This is a 1973 classic. And uh, this snapback case, it looks like it was released in 2000, so 17 years ago. And then he also had um, Exorcist 3. So I'm missing the second one. And they also made some other Exorcist movies too. But since I got this so cheap, I decided to pick it up and add it to the collection 
from the original creator of the original Exorcist. Horror is Legion. The horror is Legion, sorry. But yeah, um, anything Exorcist I'm into. And since I got this old snapback case, pretty damn cheap. Went ahead and picked it up. 1999 snapback case. Uh, the movie was made in 1990. Uh, Exorcist 3. So Some additions to the Exorcist section of my collection there. So, I always love these horror updates. Sorry if I get a little bit too into checking some stuff out. Um, it's been a while since I've actually looked at some of these. I've had them stacked up for a while now. Um, I already had um, this uh, Dusk Till Dawn that also featured Full Tilt Boogie inside the making of Dusk Till Dawn. And uh, Quentin Tarantino, one of my favorite directors of all time, and he acted in this actually and had a hand in the directing. It's a Robert Rodriguez film. Those guys are really tight and make some cool films featuring like Bulletproof, the Grindhouse film that they did. Um, but yeah, really cool um, movie. Um, vampires and whatnot. But uh, this was the earlier Dimension Collector Series release. I dug through the bin and he had this in there that I got for a few bucks. And what's cool about this one is it has um, feature commentary with Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino. And in the original one here that I had, well, it's not the original, but the later version that I have, it does not have any special features on it. So no commentary on this one. So I've never listened to the actual commentary, but I think that might be something I'm going to do soon here. I have got to check out the commentary track with Quentin Tarantino on there and Robert Rodriguez. I mean, how cool is that? And had a lot of special features on here that did not come on the, uh, you know, $5 bin purchase that I got from back in the day couple years back with full tilt boogie on there i've had that one for a long time now but cool to pick up that one also um i picked up you know like i said sometimes you know strange stuff like uh aliens and stuff can be kind of creepy around halloween and uh yeah um i picked up the first ever um from 1998 x-files movie fight uh fight the future yeah, this was from back in 1998, the first uh, feature film that they made over the X-Files. And my friend, uh, i got to shout my friend out, Michael the Two-Ply. He's an X-Files fan. But uh, he's also a big Alien fan, which I have something related to that here in a few. But yeah, um, this is always, this is like meant to be like a lead into the 6th series, pretty much. They said it's not the greatest film. I looked up on it. But I picked that up for cheap, too. And then there was the 2008 release... The second film in the X-Files franchise, I want to believe. So 2008 and 98, so that's 10 years apart. Uh, but secrets revealed, exclusive footage not seen in theaters. So if I had the first and I had a chance to get the second too, might as well just grab it, in my opinion. Never been a huge X-Files fan, but it's cool to have these in the collection, the first and second films that they made over the hit TV show that they had. So those are cool. Um, next I have, um, the remake of The Haunting, the original Haunting, one of my favorite films of all time, but this is the remake of it, Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson, um, has a behind-the-scenes feature, two theatrical trailers, cool little scene there on the bed, but yeah, The Forbidden Hill House, um, but there was an old movie called The Haunting too, um, which I do like better than this one, but nonetheless... It says a fun house of shrieks and screams, so it's like an old dark house type movie. Always liked it. It's like not as scary as you would think for sure, but I always liked this movie. Uh, came out back in '99. I remember watching it back then when it came out. So that's cool. Next we have um, one that I also watched from back in the day. Yeah, this one was released back in 1998 um, by TriStar Pictures. It's none other than Urban Legend. It happened to someone who knows someone you know. You're next. So this is very cool. You don't believe, um, you don't believe, what you be what you don't believe can kill you. Sorry, but I always liked Urban Legend. It's like things that they heard back in the day end up coming true and happening to the people that believe it. So you have to go back and check this out. Feature commentary by the filmmakers and whatnot on here. So got this real cheap too. So Urban Legend, very cool. Next, uh, I don't think this is very horror, but some people don't like snakes. So, Snakes on a Plane with Samuel L. Jackson, I had to throw into this one because it says, the fast-paced edge of your seat thrill ride. I'd say this is more like action, but, you know, snakes taking over a plane can be pretty creepy to some people. Not saying that this is horror or anything, but I'm going to throw it into this, you know, Monsters Attack Halloween special. 
So this is not only Halloween, this is Halloween horror special. So there may be horror and there may be just Halloween related stuff. Um, next, I was really happy to get these. I'm a big Abbott and Costello fan and a big classic uh, Universal Classic Monsters fan. And Universal teamed up with Abbott and Costello and did some of these awesome uh, meat movies back in the day. First one I got was the original Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein, which is considered the best of the Abbott and Costello meat movies. They did uh, Meets Jekyll and Hyde and so on. Um, but this is really cool. Had a commentary there by uh, Gregory Monk or Mank. I think it's Gregory W. Mank there. He does some good uh, commentary on here. Um, you know, it, it was one of the last films to portray Bela Lugosi as Dracula. Um, but not only that, Lon Chaney Jr. shows up as the Wolfman. Um, you also have uh, the monster Glenn, played by Glenn Strange, Frankenstein's monster. So this was really cool because it teamed up all the classic monsters that everybody loved, Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman together. And just a good, you know, horror comedy from back in the day. And if anybody has not saw these, definitely check them out. Walmart has a set of all these and the other one I picked up was Abbott Costello Meet the Mummy, which is not as good as the Frankenstein, but it's still good because I love the mummy. He's one of my favorite characters of all time. And speaking of Frankenstein, look at my Frankenstein bust there from one of my back past thrift shop and flea market finds. That's very cool. Um, but yeah, uh, Frankenstein, the one that's more um, heralded of the two. Um, I saw the complete collection after I picked these up, and I'm like, I should have just got that. May do that in the future here. Um but cool how the spines uh, all line up, kind of uniform there. The next one I picked up was more recent, made in 2014. I hadn't um, seen this around for sale, but it was in the $5 bin. It's the Babadook. Really good one. A really good newer um, horror movie. If it's in a word or it's in a look, you can get rid of the Babadook. Um, you can't get rid of Babadook. A film by Jennifer Kent. There it says on the front. And uh, this was cool. I like this movie a lot. One of the scariest movies in the year. One of the scariest movie, scariest horror movie in years. Deeply disturbing and highly recommended. A nerve-frying psychological thriller. Brace yourself. So yeah, pretty creepy movie. And uh, this had a very cool, like, reversible cover. I actually like the other side better that I have it on now. But it came um, with this side on it. And uh, I just reversed it. So you get a reversible cover on this if you get this um, edition of the DVD. So, very cool. The Duke. I like this movie. One of my favorite um, newer ones. Then, this was a 1988 classic, which I had not had in the collection yet, which I picked up. And it was only five bucks at Walmart. It was a Walmart exclusive uh, cover here, too. Pumpkinhead. And yeah, sometimes they do this and uh, stick the cover. These, like little posters over the actual cover there, which you can see underneath. And I did not have the 88 classic pumpkin head, kind of like a horror fairy tale. Um, great for Halloween. That's for sure. One of the best horror movies, um, in my opinion, ever made. Um, Lance Hendrickson starring in it. Um, this also has commentary, um, behind the scenes featurettes and whatnot. Yeah, really good one. The commentary is really cool on this one too to get some behind the scenes on what went on with the making of the monster and stuff. I love the pumpkin head monster there. It says, ev it says evocative and compelling, a chiller with a terrific monster. And they're, they're right on about that. <sighs> so Lance Hendrickson in this, very cool. Um, so the next one I got is also a, a film starring Lance Sanderson as well, and Andrea Roth, probably a lesser known one, Sasquatch. Yeah, I do like Bigfoots and stuff, and I thought the cover of this was cool, and it was one of those real cheap ones. I probably got this for a dollar or less if you add them all up together. So I had to get this one. There's Hendrickson on the back there, an older Lance Hendrickson. This was made in 2002, the other one, 1988. So you have Pumpkinhead and then Sasquatch with Lance Hendrickson. So you got to love that. Love that cover of Sasquatch, too. Wow. So very cool pickups there. Here's one that I don't really know nothing about. It's just called Werewolf, and I'm a fan of werewolves, and this was cheap, like a dollar. So it said $14.99 there, and when it was pre-played, pre though, so I would have never paid that for it. 
But nonetheless, very cool. And the Dead of the Night, a tanker carries terrifying car. Kind of like reading a little bit on it, though. This looks like a cheaper, you know, B-movie. 2007 it was made. Doesn't look like very cool art. But nonetheless, the Devil's Hound. Werewolf. Um, next, I picked up these from Dollar General lately because they were $1.95 a piece. Tormented. This little piggy came home. I just like the front cover of that with the pig mask and everything. Scary as hell. It does look creepy, and from what I read on the back, it looks pretty creepy. Look at these guys in the pig masks. Little kid. Looks like a mom and dad there in pig masks, too. And from what I read on there, looks pretty creepy. I haven't busted it open and checked it out yet, but for $1.95, I had to grab it. So, tormented. And then Pod. We're getting into the sci-fi alien creepy movies. Here's reminiscent of the best of the X-Files, too, it says there. So very cool about this pod that's kept in the basement. And I read a little bit on this. Then it's uh, Prometheus. Um, it's kind of like a precursor to the Alien films. Made after Alien from Ridley Scott and Alien. Basically a horror movie set in space. So I had to throw Pre Prometheus in there. And shout out to Michael the Tuply because he does love um, anything that has to do with aliens. And then the classic, The Abyss Special Edition. Oh yeah, James Cameron classic. Not really horror, but it does say heart-stopping, white-knuckle, deep-sea thrills there. Comes with a mysterious force under the water, so it's it's in that vein. But the abyss. And then I have Event Horizon, which is also in that vein too. Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. But on the back here he says an electrifying marriage of science fiction, suspense, and classic horror. So you got to throw that one in the mix when they mention that it is a mix of classic horror up in there. I've never saw this one, but this is one of the cheap ones I got. Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. Uh, classic from back when I was young. My sister loved this one. This is The Craft. And obviously, devilishly delightful and deliciously wicked, it says. Um, if anybody has not seen The Craft, definitely check it out. Critics are spellbound, calling the craft slick, shrewd, touching, funny, and most appropriately, downright mean. So definitely had to put that into the Halloween horror special collection update there. Uh, then we have an M. Night Shyamalan, who is supposed to be um, doing a remake of Tales from the Crypt. And there's the Crypt Keeper right there in the middle there. But hopefully he can make a return in the series if they do. But this is The Happening. Not a great film. I've not opened it up yet. Got it out of the $3.74 bin. I've heard how bad it is, but I've never really watched it all the way through, so I picked it up. I mean, I do like the acting of Mark Wahlberg, but yeah, not the greatest. Um, then we have a few Stephen King ones here. My sister painted this rock here of Pennywise. It um, they, they paint rocks and hide them around here, and then people go find them online. Um, and she did this one and had it sitting out for me to find. And I'm very happy about that around Halloween to get this. This is very cool. And just wanted to mention that as I'm speaking about, you know, Stephen King. Um, an old Drew Barrymore film when she was younger. This is Firestarter. And yeah, this was in 1984. I was two years old when this came out. Um, but yeah, if you have not seen Firestarter, definitely check this one out. Stephen King classic. And then I have a couple more Stephen Kings. Uh, 1408. Not too big on what this one's all about. John Cusack and Samuel L. Jackson. A carefully crafted thriller. I think this is more of a thriller. But I'm putting it in there because it's Stephen King. And also the miniseries Rose Red. Or it was a made-for-TV movie. I think it was a couple weeks long. But I'm not sure. I may be wrong. I've been known to be wrong on that. But I'm pretty sure this was a made-for-TV movie. Um, but yeah, a lot of special features and stuff on it. Anything Stephen King is cool to me. So very happy to get those. Um, then we have Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. I've liked this for a long time. And yeah, if you know I like witches, right there you can see. Um, and this movie is very cool. Um, I saw this not too long ago, a couple years back. And ever since then I've been wanting to pick this up. And I still haven't opened it either. Had it for quite a while. And then kind of like on the same vein, it's uh, R.I.P.D., Rest in Peace Department with Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds. They kind of, I mean, it's on the same vein. Look at the covers of that. I mean, this one's hunting witches and this one's hunting ghosts with guns. I mean, it's different, but the covers remind me almost of the same kind of movie. 
And, uh, yeah, they're out uh, hunting spirits and stuff on the rest of peace department. So perfect for a Halloween watch if you have this one. Um, then Odd Thomas, another one where this guy, you know, Anton Yelchin, rest in peace to him. He, he passed away a year or so back. It's been a while now. I can't really remember how long it's been. But Bodoc spirits, he could see them and nobody else could. But um, he was just like a fry cook there in town, it says there. Supernatural action thrill ride from the acclaimed director of The Mummy and Mummy Returns. And it's uh, it's uh, based on the novel um, by Dean Koontz. Based on the best-selling novel there, it says. So Odd Thomas, one of Anton Yelchin's best movies that he did, in my opinion. Very cool. Here's a cheap one that I got from uh, Dollar General, Prisoners of the Sun. And anything that has to do with like mummies or Egypt, I'm a sucker for, especially if it comes to uh, horror. And this is like, you know, kind of like a horror type movie. I don't know if you really want to throw it in the horror section or not, but anything with the mummy, I'm going to put in there. From Academy Award winner Roger Christian. Never watched this one either, but I'm anxious to check it out. And then next, a Tim Burton film, Corpse Bride. I really like this one. Helena Bonham Carter and Johnny Depp did the voices for these two. Piece of genius. It is a really good film. And uh, definitely had to add this to the Tim Burton section of my collection because I am a big Tim Burton fan. But uh, Corpse Bride, it says, carries on in the dark romantic tradition of the classic Edward Scissorhands and Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. So perfect for Halloween there. And you can always know Tim Burton just by looking at his animation. And then two animated ones I picked up to end it off here. First of all, it's Batman vs. Dracula. Oh yeah, feature length animated movie. I had to put this one in. Because when the Batman's fighting Dracula, I don't think he's ever fought anybody of that caliber before. Yeah, I didn't even know that they had Dracula vs. the Dark Knight. But also stars favorite characters as the Joker, Penguin, and Vicky Vell in her first appearance in the series. So, very cool, though, I thought. I've got to check this out. I still haven't opened it up yet. But Batman, the Batman, versus Dracula. Can't beat that. And then the last one, but not least, is none other than The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. A little anthology of 5, 6, 7, and 8 there. Um, actually, I think it's... I may be way off on those, but... Um, yeah, I liked it. it did four different episodes of Hall, uh, Treehouse of Horror. One of my favorites of every year to watch is The Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Mr. Burns down there in the casket. Uh, Homer and company up there. Bart. Lisa down there with Mr. Burns looking over him. These were all very good, too. I put it in and watched every single one in a row. Picked this up at Walmart recently for five bucks, too. Around um, when they first started putting movies out for Halloween. So very happy to get the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. And yeah, guys, that'll do it. Um, I went through it in under 30 minutes, and I'm glad I did, because any longer than that, it would have started getting really monotonously boring for you and me, probably. But yeah, I want to thank everybody who watched this, and I hope you liked this year's Halloween Horror DVD and VHS Collection update. Make sure you hit the subscribe, give me a like if you like what you saw, drop a comment down below on some of your favorite movies that you saw here, or any horror movies that you liked that you think I should pick up lately. Um, let me know. And yeah, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope everybody has a great Halloween. And as always, guys, till next time, I want to say thanks for watching. And as always, peace out.